I'm Allie Grayman, the founder of The Grayman Method. I am one of the original coaches to help people fully recover from OCD, and after years of experience and thousands of clients, my message to you is still the same. You can fully recover from OCD. On this channel, I show you how. But before we start, I just wanted to remind you that I do daily OCD recovery videos, and if you don't want to miss one, hit the subscribe button now. Let's talk about fear of anxiety not going away. This is probably the most common OCD fear that I hear about right now. Um, before it used to be harm OCD was the most common in all of its uh, variations. Um, but now it's the fear of anxiety. And it can come from any other theme. So for example, the person was experiencing harm OCD. They worried they would cause harm to another person, let's say. Now it switches to they're not they're no longer worried about causing harm, but they're worried about that the anxiety will never go away. Oh, let's say if the person came from religious OCD and they were worried that they were committing a sin. Now they're not so much worried about sin, but they're more worried about, well, maybe I'll just have the anxiety that will never go away. So you could see how all roads lead to Rome, that people can start out from entirely different themes, but then come to this OCD about OCD, meta OCD, fear of anxiety theme, which is basically all, all of those are the same thing, right? How do you deal with it? First of all, it is very important that you treat this theme the same as you would treat any other OCD theme. I find that to be difficult for a lot of people because it's one thing when they're like, okay, I have harm OCD, but or relationship OCD or religious OCD, right? But if they are worried about the anxiety, it seems, well, I am trying to get out of OCD, so I do need to research, I do need to figure it out. But you have to understand that now for you, if you're listening to this and if this sounds like you, now this this has become an OCD theme, which means any more research about OCD is a compulsion. Now that that is your theme, these are now compulsions. Whenever you're trying to uh, see if the anxiety is still there, uh, trying to check for anxiety, compare anxiety, try to find... A lot of the times people fall into uh, the habit of finding success stories of people who recovered from OCD, but they're doing it from a position of fear. They're so afraid of not recovering. They're trying to make sure that you can recover from this. Trying out different methods, getting all confused. All of this is part of OCD about OCD. So if you are experiencing this, any rumination about anxiety is off limits. Any research on OCD, mental health, supplements, medications, for now is off limits. I'm sure by now, if you have this theme, you've researched and understood enough, right? So for now, at least, you have to make it off limits. No talking to people about uh, OCD or recovery, um, unless obviously you're talking uh, to your therapist, to your coach, your doctor, that's fine. But outside of that, you should not be living your life all day long uh, in OCD land, trying to figure out OCD and anxiety and what's what and what method to use and what I should do and then what if I'm doing recovery wrong, because that is what's keeping you trapped. And that is what's actually keeping your anxiety going, because all of those behaviors that you are doing, you're doing them from a position of fear, because you are afraid that if you stop doing them, that or if you don't figure it out, the anxiety will stay here forever. So therefore, the fear is the anxiety will be here forever. The compulsions is all of the things I've mentioned. The more you do compulsions and, of course, rumination, the more you keep your OCD alive. To stop OCD, you need to stop those behaviors. I hope you find my videos helpful. Subscribe if you haven't. If you would like to book a talk with me and set up an action plan for yourself, all the information, as always, is on youhaveocd.com. Subscribe if you haven't. It means a lot to me. I'll see you tomorrow.